Breaking news today, Putin is not our Tsar protests erupt as Russian president sworn in for another six years. Vladimir Putin has been sworn in as Russian president for another six years as protests erupt and authorities arrest 1,600 demonstrators. Mr. Putin vowed to serve the Russian people by safeguarding rights and freedoms, as well as zealously protecting Russian sovereignty. But protesters, including the president's fiercest rival, Alexei Navalny, claimed that, Putin is not our Tsar. He called for protests in nearly 100 towns and cities in Russia ahead of the swearing-in ceremony. Mr. Navalny rallied supporters, they said that this city belongs to Putin. Is that right? His audience shouted, no. In footage of the protests, five policemen drag Mr. Navalny by his arms and legs to a waiting van. Meanwhile Ilya Yashin, another opponent of Mr. Putin, claimed that police will charge Mr. Navalny with a criminal offense that could lead to time in jail. Mr. Putin, a former KGB agent, attended a ceremony at the Grand Kremlin Palace's opulent Andreevsky Hall and placed his hand on a gold-embossed version of his nation's constitution. The 65-year-old will now embark upon his fourth term in office, having won 70% of votes in an election without challenge. Mr. Putin barred Mr. Navalny from standing and waged a propaganda war in order to secure a mandate, but could not win round 3 in 10 of his citizens when they went to the polls earlier this year. Experts have suggested that although Mr. Putin hopes to project strength on the global stage, Russia is in a much weaker position than has been appreciated by the West. Mr. Putin hopes to reduce Russian dependence on imported goods and technology especially in the aftermath of diplomatic rows with the West. Earlier this year, Britain led a push to expel more than 120 Russian spies from around the world, in conjunction with America, Germany, France and other major allies. With a fragile economy and no clear successor to Mr. Putin lined up, there could be trouble for the country in the medium term. The Russian constitution will not allow Mr. Putin to run again in 2024 at the end of his current term although he will be Moscow's longest serving leader since Stalin at that point. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.